Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. I received an email yesterday from uh, Craig, and he's uh, wanting to design a scroll saw clock. And one of the things that he wasn't certain how to do was to design the clock face. Now, once the uh, hour and minute ticks on the face, and uh, um, he wants to know how to do that. So in Corel Draw. So I thought I'd make a video tonight because we haven't done any Corel Draw videos in a while, and just show you the way that I go about creating clock faces. Now this design can be used to actually uh, cut the clock face into the clock you're designing, or to make and print out a paper face for a clock. So this video might go a little quick because I want to try to get it in under the 10 minute limit and there's quite a bit to do. So if it goes kind of fast for you, you may just have to back up a couple of times. Okay, what I'm going to do to get this started is we're going to decide the size of the clock uh, dial that we want to make. And in this case, I'm going to start out with a uh, 5 inch by 5 inch circle. So I'm just going to get a circle on the screen and get up here in the toolbar and make sure that this is a 5 inch diameter circle. Once I have that on the screen, I'm going to go ahead and hit the P key on the keyboard to center that circle in the exact center of the screen. Now I want to show you, uh, and this won't be part of the actual design, but I want to show you a feature of Corel Draw that's going to be important in this design. When you draw an object on the screen, in this case the circle, if you have your uh, selector uh, arrow uh, selected, when you double click on a pattern, in other words, if you have it selected the first time, you'll see these bounding boxes. The second time you click on it, you'll see these rotation arrows. If you bring up the transformation uh, docker on the right side of your screen, and you can do that from your Windows uh, uh, menu item up there, you'll see that uh, one of the things you can do is under transformation is to rotate a particular object. So right now, if I set this angle, say, to like uh, 45 degrees, and I go down here and I click apply, you'll notice that this rectangle is rotating by 45 degrees every time I click it. Now what it's doing is it's rotating around the center of that particular object. What we can do is we can grab that center when we have this rotation arrow selected and we can move that center anywhere on the screen we want. So now if I go back and do the same thing, instead of rotating around itself, when I hit apply, you'll see that that rectangle is actually rotating around the new center point that we moved down here. So we're going to use that to our advantage to create this clock face. Okay, now I've got my center uh, of my circle, the size of the diameter that we want on the screen, and I'm going to create a couple little small uh, circles here. In this case, I'm going to make one that's a quarter of an inch in diameter. So again, I'm going up to my toolbar and, and selecting the, uh, the size of this circle, and I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with black. Now that's going to be our hourly, or I'm sorry, our uh, um, every uh, five minute marker and I'm going to create another one that is going to be quite a bit smaller and we'll make this uh, let's say 0.1 inch in diameter and we'll fill that one in with black. So now there's our two ticks that we're going to use on the clock face. Now the next part of this is uh, very important so watch closely. To make this technique work you have to go to the view and make sure that snapped to object is selected and I'll show you why that's so important in a minute but you need to make sure you have this check mark beside that snap to object. I'm going to click our larger uh, tick mark and I'm going to hit the P key and that will center that directly uh, on the page which happens to be centered inside of the circle because we centered the circle earlier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my arrow key and I'm going to push the up arrow key until I get this uh, tick mark up here approximately uh, on this line. So now what we have is we have uh, which would obviously be our 12 o'clock tick mark on the screen and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this around the circle uh, in 30 degree increments to get our 12 tick marks. So to do that I'm going to click on that circle twice to get our rotation arrows up there. Now I can grab the center of that little tick mark and I can move it down and you'll see that because we have the snap to object turned on as soon as I find the center 
it'll lock into that position right there. So when that word center comes up, I want to let go. So now when we go over here and select our 30 degree angle, which will give us 12 uh, tick marks around 360 degrees, and we hit apply to duplicate, those tick marks are going to be rotated around that 360 degree circle 12 times to give us our tick marks on the clock. Okay? So again, we have to make sure we rotate that in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is take my smaller tick mark, hit the P key, and again I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move this tick mark up until I get it approximately where I wanted it. Now in this case we have to have 60 of them around, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to a 6 degree angle, which will give us uh, the 60 seconds on the clock and I'm going to hit, uh, and you can see right now what I was doing is rotating it around itself because I didn't center it. So I'm going to click on it again to give me my little arrows. I'm going to move that down until it locks into the center, apply and duplicate, and you can see that's giving me my second tick marks around the clock. And I'm going to go ahead and do that until I get all 60 of them on the clock face. Every time I click, I'm adding another t tick mark. Okay, so now I've got my clock face designed. I can go ahead and get rid of this outer circle because we don't need it. Let me uh, get zoomed in on it here good. I'm going to hit the delete key and get rid of that. Now I'm going to create one more small circle, and I'm going to make this a quarter of an inch circle. And I'm going to center that, and that'll give us the uh, center of where our dial is going to be. And I'll go ahead and uh, fill that in with black too. So there is the tick marks for our clock. Now to take this one step farther, we can go over here and grab our design that we want. Let's say if this is going to be a printed uh, clock face, uh, we may want to put a you know a nice design of it of a picture or somebody that we care about. We can take this design, put it in the middle, go up here to arrange order to back a page and that'll put the picture towards the back of the page and then obviously we can take our numbers and we may want to turn the uh, snap to object off here to get this to line up a little better and let's see I'll put our six there move our three over to here and we'll grab our twelve here move it up to there so there you have a very easy way of making a clock face. Uh, if you want to save this to add later, you may want to go ahead and group this whole thing together. Now when you grab it, you can move the clock face around anywhere you want it. So if you wanted to print one out, obviously you could add the diagram in the, or the picture in the back. You've got all the tick marks. You've got the different numbers around the face. All you have to do is drill the hole in the center to insert your clock and uh, you're ready to go. Now what the, the next thing you may want to do is if you're going to cut this out for a clock you may want to put a, a square around it you know that's the size of the board you're going to put it on so you can cut this out. Okay that's the way I would make a clock face again you want to use the uh, apply to duplicate in the uh, rotate transformation you're going to use 30 degrees uh, for the every five minute or every uh, the minute hands and you're going to use the six degrees for uh, the second marks around the clock. Uh, you just need to remember to change the center of rotation to the center of your original circle for the clock. So I hope that makes a little sense. I know that was kind of quick but I wanted to try to get it in in under 10 minutes so I could get it up on YouTube. So if you have any questions about that feel free to uh, give me a shout and I'll try to help explain it a little better if it didn't come out too good. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.